Alrighty, folks. We're back with another match. This is going to be our first streamed match of Top Cut. We're going to have Storkins versus Dream Villain. Two players we've already seen in pools early today. Uh, what's your thoughts on this matchup here? Oh, a dog versus cat matchup. This is fun. But in, in essence, the keys to the game are simple. Storkin is going to have to play it safe, not approach too much, but also just be wary of what Incineroar is capable of of both the wrestling Pokemon that he is. Absolutely. And just the sheer amount of strength. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because, you know, it's going to be, in theory, it's going to be hard for Dream Villain to get in on these projectiles, but once he gets in, he only needs four or five hits, and he's probably set for a stock. Maybe even this. Oh, the double uh, pigeon thing, side B. Clay pigeon. Clay pigeon, that's the one. I thought I was going to lead into uh, up smash, but... Still a nice uh, little uh, two piece there. Sorkin's taking an early lead. He's popping. He's you know he's been going on a great run today. Uh, Storkins, his only loss in pools was to our top Kazia here, Orange Ice, uh, and he's showing that he is uh, here to be a threat. He's not to be messed with. He's gonna find the up air to kill even. Yeah, getting some playing some mind games with Dreamville and and down tilt at ledge into forward air, gonna take the first stop from Storkins. Yeah, I mean it's a it's kind of a scenario. Storkins finding more hits, but. You know, obviously with Incineroar being as heavy as he is, sometimes it might just not matter. You might just find your stock gone in the early hundreds. And even still, it, it's no it's no knock to Storkins whatsoever. It's just the fact that... Oh, oh, oh my god! The, double, the double spike! He's going to get that bird beak right into Dream Villain, and that's going to take the stock. Okay, Dream Villain is saying anything you can do, I can do better. Uh, try me if you want. <laughs> to get his own uh, down air. Uh, I think one a little flip. Oh, was not finding the kill. Spot. A little early on the timing there. Yep, unfortunately. Storkin's getting them carried up to the top, trying to hit him with the can. Oh, not gonna quite make the connection. Unfortunate. Storkin's a very good. Uh, very good duck hunting, and I was actually talking with him a bit about, you know, just stuff in general. Talking about the duck hunting gameplay from him, and, you know, he went, I remember it was L saying something like, oh, you know, not many people play duck hunting. It just comes down to, um, uh, experience, and then... You know, ever so smugly, Sorkin said, well, you got to have a matchup experience against me. It's true. Uh, you can have matchup experience against Duck Hunt, but have you ever seen Sorkin Duck Hunt? I don't think so. And with, just as we're saying, the up smash is going to take it. The last hit of up smash killing. I didn't think it would reach that. It, I didn't either, but hey, it's going to find the game. Storkin taking game one. Actually, reach that wide is what I meant to say. Fair enough. Now, interesting to note here, um, even though we're in top cut now, we are still in best of three. Uh, best of five doesn't kick in until top eight. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be on Dream Villain to make the adjustments, uh, try to work around those projectiles, and try to take these next two games if he wants to stay in a winner's side top cut. And I believe this is best of three? Yeah, it's best of three. All right, we're going to get started here. We're going to be headed to Small Battlefield. So one less platform to deal with, but still platforms nonetheless. Let's see if uh, Dream Villain makes the necessary adjustments. Yeah, I, I can see why Dream Villain wanted to take this stage pick. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Does Small Battlefield have smaller blast zones than a uh, normal Battlefield? I believe so. Yeah, so that, that makes sense. He's going to try to find kills even earlier. It's essentially a mix of DS2 and Gotcha. Um, uh, differently than Smashville, though, this stage actually has ledges. Um, all right, we're, we're pretty uh, set even here. But oh my God, Dream Villain going to be taking uh, what was that, 36 percent or something, with a can F smash. 
Oh, going for the down throw forward air. Might find it. Yeah. Oh! That Alolan Whip killed? That killed pretty late. I'm wondering if there were some uh, DI troubles there. I 100% believe he could have survived. You know, from from my couple of matches of experience against Orkins, I have to say Duck Hunt up air might be just one of the most underrated moves in the game. It hits and it hits hard. Oh, Wow. I, you know, I kind of thought Sorkins grabbed him, but it turned out it was Dreamfell and grabbed him with the Alolan. We're going to find another Alolan. Oh, no. Can? I think that was a can coming nope, that was the gunman. Oh, that was the gunman. Gotcha. I think one, one probably would have ended the uh, No, I, I believe so. Right now, 36, 64, and... Oh, he he revenged the S smash. So uh, I think you know if he gets an alone whip or something like that here, he's gonna take a stop. But he finds the darkest layer. Oh, But there's the alone whip to find the kill. Dream villain. Yeah, he's he's finding his way back. He's doing a, be a lot better at getting around the projectiles and just making the hits that he does get now. And that's another Alolan whip. He is just finding these, throwing his opponent against the ropes at will. Yep. Doing everything right, so to speak, for the most part. Yeah. All right, from that uh, first time. Throws out the gunman to keep uh, Dream Villain from pursuing him off stage. Learn from his mistake last time, didn't fall for the trap. So it's good to see him uh, making that adaptation. Being careful around the game, 39 to 62. Now at 150, he's going to have to be careful, but he finds the cross chop landing on stage. He finally forward throws. I have not seen him forward throw. I have not either. The can's going <gasps> to... What just happened? <laughs> the can took them both up to the top left corner, <laughs> and then Storkins found some kind of aerial I couldn't oh, even see. Here. But now the forward. Air, the, I know Chris taking the match. That's awesome. But what was that kill? I, I would have to assume it was back air. But even with uh, losing a stock in such a dramatic way, instantly going to find uh, the next stock on Storkins, and he's going to take this to a game three. Yep. So... What do you think is most likely to come out with a win? Um, you know, it's interesting. On paper, I would say that Duck Hunt might do a little bit better because I think he just has good tools to keep Incineroar out. But it was clear to see uh, Chris, Dream Villain, was making the necessary adjustments. And, you know, uh, they're heading back to PS2 here. Uh, pretty neutral stage. I have to assume things like uh, FD were banned. You don't want to go... Uh, you don't want to let Storkins, uh, <laughs> being Duck Hunt here, take you to FD. Um, but yeah, I this could go either way. Now Chris finding the early lead. You're gonna find a darkest lariat. Six and three. I'm looking down for one second. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't blink or you'll miss it. Uh, that incident, that blue incident is too powerful. He's finding damage early. But they're about even here. And as I say that, I curse Storkins and he gets a long one. Gets a Lolan whipped on the getup, and that's the stock. From all my time playing Chris, if you don't uh, pay attention to a Lolan whip, he'll make you regret it. Oh, he's getting carried. Uh, not in the good way. <laughs> I mean, a little bit with that Alolan whip. I mean, to, you know, yeah. A Lolan whip do be kind of a, a little too over at times. Uh, Storkin's found the throw into the camp, but it's not going to be able to quite kill this uh, large cat. Yeah, even still, after the second can, still at 177. And does damage to himself with the, uh, the can, unfortunately. Gonna shield the can. Good on uh, Dream Villain there to find that. Uh, you know. Dream Villain hasn't really found much extra credit, and it looks like next hit he takes, he'll die. So again, still anyone's game. Yep. And he's going to air American air dodge into the can. Incredibly patriotic. 
Oh yeah, the American air dodge. It, it's just any air dodge. It's bad. That I just realized what you said. That's cool. Yeah, that Alolan whip. Uh, I'm really surprised that hit. That one a little more reasonable, <laughs> but still. Yeah, he. I can tell uh, after that first game. Um, you know, he really found it in him what he needed to do. Again, with Duck Hunt, um, you know, it's quite a matchup check that, oh, yeah, gets Pineapple by PS2. That's not what you love to see for him. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, you know, Duck Hunt, sometimes it's a matchup check, and it, then uh, if you lose the first game not knowing what to do, you then have to look deep and say, do I know how to make the adjustments to take the next two games? It looks like Dream Villain is answering that question decisively. He looked at the man in the mirror, Michael Jackson style, and decided that he was going to try to take this set. He was asking him to make it. But right now, 118 to Oh no, this might be disastrous. Uh, One alone and whip, never mind. Uh, gonna find the darkest. <laughs> Chris has been finding those darkest lariats when he has revenge, and it's like. But I feel like there are better people hit when you have revenge. And Tipper, uh, Tipper. Oh, oh, revenge into the alone oh. whip. But he doesn't get the timing right. And that's not going to quite kill. But up throw, but up throw that's going to take it. Those sparks aren't going to be fake. I was wondering if they were going to be. But that's going to be Dream Villain making his way back and taking the set 2-1. to one.